All right, so when you first start up the app, this is what you're gonna see. This is our blank canvas. There are no tracks loaded onto the deck, and you may be wondering to yourself, hey, Justin, how do I load up a song so I could start playing around with this app? So here's how you're gonna do it. The, the music select buttons are gonna be right here above the volume fader, and I'm using a Bluetooth mouse so you can see exactly where I'm pointing to on my iPad. So the music select buttons are here. This is for the left one, that's for the right one. And this threw me off in the beginning because other DJ apps, such as DJ Pro AI, the music select buttons are on the top right, and that's how it is on most apps. But this one, they're right above the volume fader. It may get in your way when you're using the volume fader, but either way, that's where they are. So we're gonna click on here or touch it with the touch screen. And then here we get into our music section, our library section. Now, if you go over here to the left, there's a drop down menu and these are your sources. So you got uh, EDJ and Mix gives us some free music to start out with. So you might want to use that or you could use the music on your iPad or on the device that you're DJing with. Next is going to be in your files on your device. And then here's where we get into the fun and exciting part. And then there are actually integrated streaming services inside this app. So first one is SoundCloud. And then Google Drive, that's if you want to transfer music in. And then Dropbox, same thing over there. And then Tidal. Tidal is the streaming service that I use. I use it on the DJ Pro app. I've been using it for a while, ever since Spotify is no longer integrated in any DJ apps. So I'm going to show you how to use Tidal. And then you get millions and millions of songs. You just have to sign up for the monthly subscription, which is only like nine ninety nine a month. So I'm going to show you that in a second. I just want to show you one more thing. Up here in the middle, you could select if you want to put a song on deck one, on deck A, or deck B. De deck A is obviously on the left side. Deck B is on the right side. So now let's go back over to Tidal. So now we're in Tidal. So if you have this app, if you used it on as just the app or just like the streaming service, then your playlist will already be here. So any playlist that you have inside of the Tidal app will be here. And then you could also transfer playlists from other streaming services such as Spotify and other stuff. I'll explain that in another video. So we can navigate through the Tidal app by my tracks. These are all the tracks that you have in the title app that you played. My playlist. And then this is for music discovery. The next one to the right. That these are the rising tracks. So that means they're getting popular and it's what the app has selected for what's getting popular. Then there's new tracks. And then there's title selection and top 20. Again, this is for music discovery. And then if you want to if you want to search for a track and load it up, you go down here. Bottom right, let's say we want to load up some 50 set. Just type in 50 set. Search. And now it's going to search through all the sources. So if you're loaded, if you're logged in the Dropbox, if you're logged into BeatSource, it'll come up. But right now we're just lo logged in the title. So we see here some songs come up. You could go to more. And then these are all the songs. Of course, you could type in the artist and the song if you want to get more specific. But now to load up a track, we are going to just press it. And then the deck that we have selected is the deck it is going to be loaded on. So that is deck A. And now it automatically switches to deck B. And then we'll put another song on deck B. One thing to keep in mind with this app compared to other apps like DJ Pro AI and Serato, with the streaming service, it takes a little bit longer than other apps I've noticed to actually load the track. So let's um, let's load up another one and see it's loading, 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 loading. Now it's done. So keep that in mind and load up your track and give yourself a little bit of time so that you're not like in a jam trying to play a song that's not loaded yet. So load it as soon as you can so it's there and ready for you. So that's how you load up tracks from Tidal. So you select Deck A, Deck B. And then here at the top, it's going to tell you the BPM and how much time you played of the song. 
up there. And then as you play songs down here, you're going to see my sets. So you can go to session history, and then these are all the days that you played sets, and then you can see what you played. That's good if you played a, you played a set that you liked and you wanted to see what you played, you could see it there. Or you could create a new set. So let's do um, 50 Cent. So this is how you create playlist inside the app. So now it's in the app. You could add a picture to it to make it easier to find. And then you could add music. So for example, we could go here, search 50 Cent down here. And then you could press the plus button. And now these songs are going to be added to our playlist. So then we go back to my sets, 50 Cent. And music, and you just press press it so that it's checked. And then once you're done, once you see it checked, you have to press OK. And then now it'll be inside of your set. So my set, 50 cent, six tracks. So I suggest before you're doing a gig, make a gig-specific playlist so that when, the, when you go to that gig, you know exactly what songs that you want to play. Other apps have much better uh, playlist features and have a better way to set up your playlist. This app does not, I don't think this is the most advanced DJ app that you could get, that, but it is still a great app. And then now that you know how to load up songs and you know how to make playlists, you're ready to go. And then all you have to do is learn a couple of simple transitions, which I'm going to teach you in the next videos. And I'm also going to show you how to use the effects and how to get the full feel of this app even though it might not be the most advanced app it is a very good app and it's not that expensive it's only like $9.99 a month and you and then that paired with title streaming service for another $9.99 a month about $20 a month you have a great DJ software and you have millions and millions and millions of songs that you could load up right there with a touch of a button from title streaming service so i think this app has some great potential and as long as you can load up tracks and know what's going on that then you can start djing professionally with this app the only thing is there's not that many controllers that are in that you could use with it the only controller that you could use is the ddj 200 bluetooth controller which is a great controller and you could do professional gigs with so Stay tuned for the next video on this app, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do transitions and how to go from one song to another within this app now that we know how to load tracks. So thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.